वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्ट प्रायद्रेशो निगवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोक भक्तिर्भवति नष्ट की कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदा श्री अद्वैत गदाधरा शिवा सदगौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण डियर डिवोरिस eager to always be connected with shrimad bhagavatam vaishnava vairagi sang vairagi vaishnavas are those who are follower of supreme personality of godhead krishna or vishnu and vairagi means those who have a special attachment to krishna vairagi означает то что те кто особо привязаны к кришне it is not really detachment it is attachment to krishna and detachment is a by product на самом деле vairagi это не отречение отречение это лишь побочный продукт vairagi означает привязанность which means vishesh rag vishesh means is special rag means attachment a special attachment to krishna vishesha raga vishesha ab asobe raga priyasanasti and this is the and this is the result of bhakti ye the result of bhakti bhakti give rise to gyan and vairagya bhakti dayot padyam dra gyan and vairagi so we are reading from shrimad bhagavatam 7th canto सेवेंथ कैंटो द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ भागवत इज ऊति आर कर्म वासना ऊति आर कर्म वासना मीन्स हाउ द डिफरेंट एक्शन गिव राइज टू डिफरेंट नेचर ऑफ द पीपल In Bhagavad Gita, we know there are two type of uh, creation, demonic and divine, in 16th chapter. It is because of the karma vasna or the impression of the action that some person are born as divine, some are born as demonic. So in this chapter, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, canto has fifteen chapter, and five chapter deal with the demonic nature of Hiranyakashipu. In fifth chapter, and in this chapter, we are reading about the demonic nature of Hiranyakashipu. 
and the five chapter deal with the divine nature of Prahlad Maharaj. And then in five chapter there is a description of the Varan Ashram uh, characteristics. This whole uh, canto is spoken in the Hastanapur palace of Maharaj Yudhishthir. <coughs> the speaker is Devrishi Narada. <coughs> and the listener is Prahlad Maharaj. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, listener is uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj. And the subject matter is the glories of Prahlad Maharaj. And all three are Mahajan. Prahlad is Mahajan, Narad is Mahajan, and Dharmaraj is also Mahajan. So now, I, I think basically, <coughs> beginning of the canto is the uh, is is why the by the. Uh, it, it, Kanto begins by the question of Parikshat Maharaj that God is partial. He favored the demigods and make uh, you know, demons to be destroyed. He, he favors the demigods and get demons destroyed. And the answer is no, it is not true for a son of a great uh, demon Hirnakashipu Prahlad Maharaj, Lord appeared as Narsingadev. <coughs> <coughs> So there is no partiality. Lord can appear for demons also. And Prahlad and his uh, grandson Bali Maharaj are among the twelve Mahajans. And now the chapter which we are discussing, chapter 6, from verse 1 to 28, Prahlad Maharaj instructs his classmates. In the last verse of the chapter 5, it is written that Prahlad Maharaj is Karuna, Karuna means compassionate, and his mitra means he is friendly. And out of that compassion, he was actually preaching to his classmate, the son of Daityas. So the principle is that as long as one has no compassion in heart, his preaching will never be fruitful or effective. Srila Prabhupada, when he landed in America, his heart was really full of compassion that these people, under the influence of mode of patient ignorance, are so unhappy how Krishna you have brought me to make them happy and receive your message. So now we are reading the verse number 3 of our 7th uh, canto, chapter 6. Mm -hmm. 
सुखम ऐन्द्रियकम दैत्या देह योगे न देना सर्वत्र लभ्यते देवा यथा दुखम अयतन्तः <coughs> there are two words sukham means happiness and dukham means misery and both are registered by senses and mind Indriya comes means with the senses and mind is one of the senses. And say it again, please. Indriya comes is a word in, in the verse. Indriya comes with reference to the material senses. Uh, basically speaking, which sense really register the happiness and unhappiness is mind. So mind is also the internal sense. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Indriyana manas chasmi, among these senses I am mind. Therefore, the registration of happiness and distress is within the mind, which is the center of all senses. And Daitya means son of Ditti, the wife of Kashyap. Like Conte similarly is Daitya. Daitya is the name of the mother of the uh, Hiranakashipu and his descendants. And the next word is Dehi Yoga, not Dehi Nam. Dehi Nam means embodied soul. And Deha Yogena means how he, say, Prashila Prabhupada writes, Deha Yogena means because possessing a particular type of material body. It means he is awarded a material body according to his karma by higher authorities. Uh, so where is this happiness and distress? Where is this? Uh, where this uh, is prevailing? Sarvatra labhyate. Sarvatra labhyate means all species of life, they suffer and also they feel happy. Sarvatra labhyate. It means that all forms of life, all forms of life, feel happy and unhappy everywhere. Who arranged that? Who organized it? Devyad. By the superior authority. Shri Prabhupada writes, Deviat means by superior arrangement. So one who created the different bodies, he along with the bodies pack the happiness and suffering of that individual according to the karma. Generally, all the bodies are created by Lord Brahma. He is called Vidhata. It means he, he, 
he uh, he decide the destiny of all living entities but also the dharmaraj is in charge of punishing the sinful people only so they all are coming under superior authority now the main point made is yatha dukham ayatana ayatana means without endeavor Yatan means endeavor. Like we work to earn money, so that is called yatana. But, but the unhappiness is nobody tries for unhappiness. Nobody desire for happiness. Uh, nobody uh, uh, does the endeavor for happiness. They, it comes uh, without uh, any endeavor. So, so the the pur the the purpose of the verse is everybody. is trying that i am getting happy but it is uh, it is coming on its own accord because of karma as the unhappiness come on its own without endeavor Now, now you can read the translation by Shila Prabhu. Prahlad Maharaj continued, "My dear friends, born of demonic families, happiness perceived with the reference to the sense objects by contact with the body can be obtained in any form of life according to one's past fruit activities. Such happiness is automatically obtained without endeavor, just as we obtain distress." So, if he should not end up for what for happiness, what he should do? He should practice Bhagavad Dharma. By what age he should start practicing Bhagavad Dharma? Kumaram Acharit by the age of five. and bhagavad dharma means any living entities can serve and love god bhagavad dharma означает что любое живое существо может любить и служить господу на шила правопад спарпад in the material world in any form of life there is some so called happiness and so called distress Why Shri Prabhupada is saying so called? Why Shri Prabhupada is saying so called? So called means they are not really affecting the soul. Because soul is always blissful. आनंदमय 
it is the acquired body because of the fruitive activities that suffer the happiness and distress. And since this body is temporary, so these happiness and distress are also temporary. And therefore, as my friend was suggesting the verse from Bhagavad Gita, it is like change of weather. As a winter are cold, its body is a feeling the heat are cold and this is natural so we should tolerate. Therefore this, uh, this happiness and distress is called, so called. Like the hell and heaven are also same. Are also the hell, hell and heaven are also same. Because both are in the material world. And and material world is a world is a place of misery. Therefore. This is all so-called happiness and distress in this material world. But actually, this material world, as Krishna says, Dukhalyam, it is full of miseries. And it is uh, illusory energy which uh, makes us feel happy though we are miserable. Now Srila Prabhupada next line says, no one invite distress in order to suffer, but is but it but uh, still it comes. It means nobody is going in the temple to pray that uh, my uncle should fall from the tree and break his bone or my uh, grandfather should have cancer. Nobody goes to pray and uh, for any suffering. But, 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 but all these things uh, are coming uh, in our life uh, to us and to our relatives without uh, invited. Why they are coming? Because we have done such uh, action in the past and that is the reaction to those karma. So now the next line says, similarly, even if we do not endeavor to obtain the advantage of, advantages of material happiness, we shall obtain them automatically. So, it is because next verse tomorrow will be, therefore, we should not is we not we should not uh, waste our energy our time and our all endeavor for so called happiness which will come automatically because it is destined due to our karma
so so many people you know all of a sudden they get uh, some wealth uh, from their forefathers without any uh, hard work some there are people they never worked and they have a lot of wealth Some, or somebody is digging something to make a house and uh, he finds some gold coin inside somebody has already uh, he, uh, tr uh, hidden sometimes so all this wealth will come automatically by his uh, by his own uh, karma So it is also coming automatically like distress. So this happiness and distress are obtainable in any form of life without endeavor. Therefore, like Prahlad Maharaj is saying, Rishabdev in fifth canto also told his hundred sons and and pointing to elder son maharaj bharta that sense enjoyment is available in all animal species And he, he asked, my dear son, what you will do now? Oh, we are son of the king, so we will become, become king and enjoy. It's a enjoyment is available to the dogs and hawks for the senses. Sense enjoyment is available to hawks and dogs. Then what we should do, son said. Tapo Devyam Putraka. My dear sons, do the divine austerities. What is the meaning of divine austerity? The austerity by which we can associate and serve the Supreme Lord in with love. Everybody is doing austerity just to earn money and live. But nobody is doing divine austerity. So what is the what is the benefit of divine austerity? Satyam chasudet, our existence is purified. And what is our existence that keep us in this material world? That is our subtle body. And that is also called antakaran, means internal senses. And that is made up of four things, mind, intelligence, false ego and polluted consciousness. That need to be purified. And that is purified by divine austerity. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us a very simple method, Cheto Darpan Marjanam, which means purify the mirror of your heart, which means subtle body or antekaran or all these four things. Mm -hmm. 
चेतो दर्पण मार्जनम फर्स्ट वर्ष ऑफ शिक्षाष्टकम परम विजय थे श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम बाय चेंजिंग होली नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण कांग्रीगेशनली वी कैन क्लीन दी कॉन्शियसनेस एंड ऑल दी सेंसेस इंटरनल सेंसेस मींस सटल बॉडी and also uh, in shrimad bhagavatam it is said that by hearing bhagavatam every day krishna will enter through our ears into the heart and cleans the heart means a uh, uh, purify our existence So Bhagavatam is also Kirtan. Bhagavatam is also Kirtan. Because Sukhdev Goswami is Kirtan Acharya. He is example of Bhag- reciting Bhagavatam. Because Sukhdev Goswami is Acharya Kirtan. He is Kirtan Acharya Bhagavatam. Shunvatam Sukhatha Krishna Punya Sarvan Kirtan Ha Hridayanta Sthaniya Bhadrani Dunoti Sarth Sita It is a very famous word. If we hear the words of Krishna, Krishna from within our heart, purify our existence. Shunvatam Shardhaya Nityam. If we hear regularly and enthusiastically, Krishna will clean the heart. Samalam Dhunoti Samalam Krishna. Krishna will clean the heart. It means Krishna will clean heart by chanting His holy name because His name and He are non-different. And similarly, by hearing and reciting Bhagavatam, Krishna will clean our heart because Bhagavatam and Krishna are also non-different. Because in the Bhagavatam there is a Nam Kirtan, there is a Guna Kirtan, and there is a Leela Kirtan. Guna Kirtan. Guna means uh, the, uh, yeah, the characteristic of Krishna, the pastime of Krishna, the name of Krishna, the, the holy uh, Dham of Krishna. These are all Kirtans in Bhagavatam. So what will be the benefit if we will purify our uh, existence? Brahma Sokyam Anantam. Then you will get the unlimited happiness coming from the Brahma soul, from the purified consciousness, which is the symptom of soul. So, Ananta Sukha means, I mean, why should we not try for unlimited happiness? Why for so-called happiness? In Bhagavad Gita, there is another good verse, which is similarly, it says, Mat, uh, ये संस प्रसजा भोगा दुख योनिय एवते आदे अंत वन्तु कोंते नतेशु रमते बुद्धा From 5th chapter, this verse says, All the misery take birth in sense enjoyment. Because when we do sense enjoyment, the net, net result is misery. And they both are temporary. 
Happiness and distress both are temporary. And therefore those who are enlightened never take uh, interest in them. It is like in a market sometimes there is a sale, they say buy one get one free. So if you enjoy material senses and then you will get distress in free, it is a package deal. So now we are coming back to our purport. Thus there is no need to waste time and energy fighting against distress or working very hard for happiness. And this is Brahma says in prayers, uh, Smakshi Manaya Duk, whatever the unhappiness or distress come in our life because of karma, we should simply uh, we should simply accept it and wait for the mercy of the Lord. Wait for the mercy of the Lord and uh, use our body, mind and uh, uh, senses in the service of the Lord. So, Sumikshamanaya Bhunjita, this is the very famous verse Prabhupada used to quote. The devotee in suffering should pray to the Lord, it is my karma, Lord, I am I must suffer, I should have suffered so much, but you have reduced it to nothing. Thank you very much. He said, the suffering is because of my karma, my Lord, you are so merciful that you have reduced it for me, that is bearable. And when he has some happiness, he says, my dear Lord, it is your mercy. I have, I am not, I am not eligible for that. You have given this. Thank you very much. I will serve you. Now we are coming back to the purpose. If we have not to endeavor for happiness and distress, then what we should do? Our only business in the human form of life should be, Srila Prabhupada writes, to revive our relationship with Supreme Personality of Godhead and thus become qualified to return back home, back to Godhead. So, our only business in the human life, business means actually, you have to spend some time. Business means, business needs your time. Business need time, business, business need energy. And it needs really intelligence and organization. Therefore, our only business is to invest our time use our intelligence and organization
to establish some uh, mechanism by which we can revive our relationship with uh, Krishna. When the word relation comes, it uh, stands for Sambandha Gyan. The Sambandha Gyan means the knowledge by which we can revive our relationship with Krishna. And when we revive our relation with Krishna, then the next step is Abhidhya, means render loving devotional service to Krishna. And then the third, why we render devotional service to the Krishna, which means Vaidhi Sadhan Bhakti. And what is the result of that? Priyojana. And that is love of God. Which is already in everybody's heart, already inbuilt. It needs to be awakened by practice of sadhan bhakti. It means our business is to practice uh, sadhan bhakti after establishing our relationship with Krishna by hearing scripture from the mouth of spiritual master and Vaishnava. It means our only business is to hear Bhagavatam and chant Hare Krishna. And it is also our business to very lovingly and faithfully worship the Archa Vigra form of Supreme Lord. And it is also our business to have a good association with the devotees of the Lord. With, like, with like-minded devotees, we should have good association. It is also our business to visit the Holy Dham often time physically or mentally. This is Pancha Anga Bhakti, Mahaprabhu said, is most powerful. Five, five powerful limbs of devotion, sadhan devotion, sadhan bhakti. And that what is Prabhupada instituted in all the temples. So this is our business. This is our primary business. For maintenance of our body, we may do secondarily something. But somehow the world is doing primarily the material business and secondarily sometime this is spiritual practice. So we are living just opposite what is required by the purport of Srila Prabhupada. 
So our only business in human form of life is to revive our relationship with Krishna means here Bhagavatam. And practice devotional service. And then be qualified to go back home, back to Godhead, to serve Krishna with love and devotion. So if we go back to Godhead, there is no need to get any material body. Now, therefore, Srila Prabhupada writes, Material happiness and distress, uh, distress comes as soon as we accept material body, regardless of what form. Purport. Purport, purport. Go to the purport where we lived. <coughs> It means if we go to a spiritual world, there is no need to get, there is no chance to get material body. If we don't do that business, then we will get material body. That body may be of the uh, demigod or the body may be of an ant. But there is a suffering along with body. As soon as soul enters material body, he is helpless. That body will act according to its own nature. If somebody goes in dark's body, he only barks, he cannot chant Hare Krishna. Like, in a, like we sit in any type of vehicle, once we sit, then we are helpless. We have to go according to the speed of the vehicle. Yeah, because the, the, the machine is like our body, if we accept, then we have to follow the rules of the sound of that machine, the speed of that machine, jump of that machine, we cannot change it. And Sri, and Sri Krishna tells in Bhagavad Gita, this body, body is like a machine, Jantra Rudani Mayaya. This is the machine given by material nature. And this is material body is given for us to enjoy or suffer the karma of our our previous lives. Now the, again, purport, we cannot avoid such happiness and distress under any circumstances. Whatever body we have, whatever, faci whatever facilities we have, these suffering and happiness, they are part of it. We cannot separate them. Shri Prabhupada writes, the best use of human life therefore lies in reviving our relationship with Supreme Lord. Vishnu. So this is our best use. 
we have a bad bargain that we got this material body which is full of miseries. Prabhupada uh, used to call good use of bad bargain. So bad bargain is this material body and good use is to use this in a service of Sri Krishna. By the way, in this human body, we can enjoy a little bit on the tongue when we taste some food or some skin, we just enjoy something, but our liver is not enjoying, our stomach is not enjoying, our bones are not enjoying, our 90% of 90% of body is not feeling any happiness, only the it is a bad bargain. Is it? You have a best bed, but you have some pin in that, then your all happiness is finished. So, so the best user of this human body is practicing Krishna consciousness. So, you are all fortunate somehow come in contact with Krishna conscious movement and by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we have a chance to practice Krishna consciousness seriously and develop a relation with Krishna and be free from this uh, so-called happiness and distress of this material body and material world. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Any question or comment? by the mercy of Prabhupada, when I give class, I just focus on the purport and finish the class by the end, by the time purport is over. Because there's a lot much bit in between the lines when Prabhupada is, uh, is writing. So we have to dig down into it and relish it. After finishing purport, if I speak, I will speak what I want to speak. But if I speak within the purport, then I will uh, try to understand Prabhupada's mood.
But, but simply I have tried to explain what the Prabhupada is uh, intending in this purport. Also, in the 10th canto, 7th chapter, verse number 1 and 2 says, If we hear Krishna Katha regularly, we have seven benefits, and among these seven, or seven benefits, three are our existence is purified, we develop love of God, and we develop friendship with the devotees. So you... Ten, ten, seven, one, two. develop love of God and the friendship with the devotees of Lord. So, duality is the nature of this world because of the three modes of material nature which bring, uh, which form dualities. And only the pure devotion can take us beyond three modes of material nature. And then we will develop love of God and that will make us really to have sincere friendship with the devotees of the Lord. In that verse, this Sakyam Tat Purusha is the last benefit. So it means the really devotee association is topmost among all these five limbs of devotional service. So the devotee association is most important because by devotee association we develop our, uh, we get a seed of devotional service, we practice devotional service in association of devotees, and even if we realize God is still the devotional service is most important. Or devotee, asso devotee association is most important.
получаем семечко преданного служения. И благодаря этому семени преданного служения мы начинаем служить Господу. И даже если мы уже осознали самого Господа, общение с преданными по-прежнему остается самым главным и самым могущественным. Existence of devotees of the Lord among the whole population. How many are the devotees of the Lord? So rare is this commodity. So we should really value this association of devotees. But basically speaking, again, we we'll go to Bhagavatam. There are three people, type of devotees. Those who have an influence of mode of ignorance, we should respect them. There are people who are in mode of passion. We should also not much associate, but give them respect. But those in mode of goodness, we should try to associate. It means at least Madhya Madhikari or Uttam Adhikari association is more beneficial. Prabhupada writes, at least we should come to Madhya Madhikari because Madhya Madhikari knows how to make friendship with equal, how to respect the seniors and how to be merciful on the juniors. This is the standard. If we come to that, then society will be very uh, cooperative, coherent, coherent and uh, vibrant. For becoming Madhya Madhikari, the criteria is our faith in the scripture. So it is the scripture by which uh, the faith in the scripture as we increase we will advance. Is it okay, Prabhu? Some, some my guests are waiting outside uh, my room. One question, welcome. One question, welcome. Bhajan Mayapur Ishwari, you asked me a question about uh, Aina Gul. I check with them. Uh, they are working on this and they will they will they will let me know very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. आप आके बैठ सकते हैं एक क्वेश्चन है रशियन डिवोडीज की क्लास चल रही है आइए आइए हरे कृष्ण क्या समाचार है आप मैं आपको खड़ा करना अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है ये क्वेश्चन आप यहां बैठ जाइए ये कुर्सी इधर मेरे पीछे कुर्सी है एक इधर कुर्सी है एक इधर कुर्सी है ये मेरा दही मेरा फ्रेंड आप यहां बैठो यस आई कॉल देम इनसाइड नाउ यू कैन कंटिन्यू टू आस्क हिम क्वेश्चन 
ठीक है अब आगे मेरे सामने आ जाओ पंकज आप सामने आ जाओ अब यहाँ बैठ जाओ अब यहाँ दोनों बैठ जाए बहुत बड़ी जगह बहुत ज्यादा जगह है यस प्रभु वर्ड द क्वेश्चन वैरागी वैष्णव संघ वैरागी वैष्णव संघ है Okay, I will have my my YouTube will also upload upload this uh, after half an hour. I am. प्रभु हरे कृष्णा माया माया पुरीश्वरी राधे श्याम कृष्ण बलाम की जय